So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a beautiful waterfall chart. And in the video we are going to take a look at how to create a waterfall chart and how to format it. If you like the video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Please enjoy. So in this video I'm going to tell you all about the waterfall chart. You see an example of a waterfall chart here and we are going to create this beautiful waterfall chart. A waterfall chart is perfect for plotting your personal budgeting for example. And that's also the example I used in my video. I have a table with a start capital, some income, a subtotal, some costs, again a subtotal, some uh, minor income and an end capital, which also is a total. You see in the chart the blue bars are the subtotals, the green bars are the income, and the red bars are the costs. So you can easily see your starting capital, your changes throughout the year, and your end capital. So that's the reason it's a perfect chart for budgeting. And we are going to create this beautiful chart on another sheet with the same table. In the beginning of making our waterfall chart is very easy. Just select the data in your table. Go to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to the waterfall chart and click the waterfall chart. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And you see this does not look like our example at all, but we are going to change the formatting of this waterfall chart to make it look like our example. Always the first thing you need to do in a waterfall chart is let Excel know what are your totals and your subtotals, because Excel does not recognize this automatically. This bar, this bar, this one, and this one are totals. And you, what Excel is doing now, it's just adding it up as a positive value. So I'm going to select my chart. You see all bars are selected now. When I click again on one of the bars, it highlights that bar. If that's the case, I can right click on that bar and click set as total. I do the same for this subtotal bar. Right click, set as total. Again, the same for this bar, it's also a subtotal selected, right click, set as total, and my end capital also selected, right click and click set as total. This looks much more like our example. I'm going to format my chart a little bit more. I'm going to delete the grid lines, just select your grid lines, press delete on your keyboard. I'm going to delete the connector lines between the bars, so just select your data series, press console 1. So your format data series menu opens and you see on the series options is an option to show connector lines. Uncheck this box and your lines are gone. I also want to reduce the gap width so that my bars are a little bit wider. The 50% I'm going to change it into a 30%. So I get a little bit wider bars. I'm going to adjust my data labels. Just select your data labels in your chart. Go to the home tab. I want them green, bold and a little bit bigger. The same for my axis, my vertical axis, I want it also green, bold and bigger. The same for my horizontal axis, I want it green, bold and bigger. Well, this looks much more like our example. There are some minor adjustments we need to do. We're going to give our chart a title and that will be personal budgeting also make this green, bold and a bit bigger. I don't want the lines on my axis. So just select your axis, go to the fill in line and at my line options I say no line. The same for my vertical axis, select it, go to the line options and say no line. I also don't want an outline around my chart, so select your chart, go to the fill in line and go to the border and say no line. You see there's no line around my chart anymore. The only thing we need to do is format our bars. You saw in the example there were green bars for positive values, red bars for negative values and dark blue bars for the subtotals. This works a little bit different than when I make for example a normal bar chart. And I'll show you why. I can just select my data series, go to the fill in line, and I can check a solid fill and you see all my bars are changing from color. While I only want the subtotals 
to be colored another color, any positive, any negative values. So I'm going back to automatic. And for this, there's a little trick. You need to select your legend. Now my whole legend is selected and click again on the increase. So only the increase is selected. Now you can go to the fill and line and say, I want a solid fill for the increase, which is dark green. The same for the decrease, select only the decrease in your legend and select the dark red color for that one. Now click the total in your legend and select your color for that. I want it dark blue. And to make it look like our example, we can also select our bars, go to the effects and click soft edges this way with two points. Now you can see the chart looks like our example. And this is the way you can create this beautiful waterfall chart. So that's all about the waterfall chart. I hope you learned a lot and that you can create your own waterfall chart yourself. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.